Hey everybody, my name is John Fisher. Welcome to AccreditInvestors.net. Oil and gas investors. I got to tell you, this company was founded on the oil and gas industry, and uh, not to get political on you, but Bozo the Clown pretty much ruins the uh, whole oil and gas industry. I mean, it's just terrible. I have lost so many of my customers because of this clown. Uh, it's it's terrible. I don't want to get political on you, but uh, man, we were independent. We were producing so much, you know, oil, and uh, now now this clown is begging Saudi Arabia and begging Russia for crude. I mean, jeez, what the hell? Anyway, uh, I'll survive. I always survive, and the oil and gas guys will survive also. And uh, these people are out of their minds. I mean, uh, you know, I don't mind clean energy. I mean, anything that benefits, you know, the world is great. But, uh, I mean, now they want these electric trucks that have 8,000 batteries. Not one, but two of them. So 16,000 pounds of batteries. Uh, how many slaves, uh, how much do you have to, uh, you know, to produce the raw you know, elements to go ahead and produce these batteries is ridiculous. And who does it come from? It don't come from us. It comes from China and Russia. So they got us by the, uh, they, they've got us by the windshield wipers. You know, and the bottom line is, it's just stupid. It's just stupid. Listen, our grid cannot handle all these electric cars. Our, our grid can't handle it. You know, and even if you have a second electric car, your grid's not going to be able to handle it. So it's nice electric. I mean, I'd love to get solar panels. I've been totally obsessed with putting putting solar panels on my house, but uh, you know, it's just not the right time. I've been waiting for the more efficient solar panels to come around. Uh, I'm in Florida, and uh, I got to tell you, Florida's Florida Power and Light. They got big, big array of solar power, and they're doing a pretty good job with that. One thing that Florida has plenty of is sun. But the the oil and gas investors. That's the bread and butter, and that's how we started. And uh, there were pe people actually doing Reg D 504, 505, 506s, and they were drilling wells, and they put a million dollars together, uh, and they, you know, get investors. And then, of course, um, if they hit, they would split whatever the production, subtle production would be on that particular well, you know, and, uh, and it was a good business. You know, but the, right now there's hardly any leases available. Uh, you know, it just pretty much smashed that whole business. But the the actual foundation of this company and my database, you know, is a lot of oil and gas people. I mean, the most popular private placement memorandum offering has always been oil and gas until the present administration came in here and ruined it. I mean, it was thriving. It was really, really, really doing well. Right now, it's like three quarters of those guys went out of business. And other than the small little little leases that they get here and there, I mean, it's just not what it used to be. You know, the price of crude is up there. It's crazy. But uh, it drives me crazy. But my job is not to get you an oil and gas investor. My job is to find you the accredited investor. So even though the guy may be, uh, maybe he was pitched initially on an oil and gas deal, what I have brought to you is an accredited investor who was vetted. So the guy who was pitching this particular oil and gas deal asked him, hey, do you make 200000 a year for the last two years? Have you got a million net worth on including your home? Have you got experience in managing your personal portfolio? And the, the guy said, yes, yes, yes. The guy said, hey, you know, we do units of $50,000. Is that a comfortable entry level? The guy said, yes. The guy said, is it risk capital? I don't want you investing your kid's college money. The guy said, yes. And then they mailed them a private place of memorandum. So, I mean, that's a real highly qualified lead. So what if they pitch them in oil and gas? Because if you go and you call this guy up and you pitch him on a real estate deal or you pitch him on some kind of a tech deal or, or whatever, it's still the same accredited investor. So, you know, the oil and gas guys are tough. You know, a lot of times I have these oil and gas client lists and they hit a dry hole and they feel like they got ripped off. You know, dry holes are part of the game. It's like, you know, baseball. You strike out, you hit home runs, you hit grand slams. You know, but a lot of times, you know, anybody knows Babe Ruth is the king of the uh, home runs, but no one knows that he's also the king of the strikeouts because he went to bat and he swung hard. 
You know, so uh, in the oil and gas industry, those guys are kind of jaded. When they hit a dry hole, they feel like they got ripped off. So uh, I'm not so sure that that's like the best venue for them. But who cares? Because the oil and gas investor is an accredited investor. And that's what I bring to the table. And that's what I've been doing for 32 years with an A-plus rating. So if you're looking for specifically oil and gas investors, yes, I can actually put you into that vertical, vertical being specifically just oil and gas guys, but uh, I, I don't categorize them as oil and gas people. I sell these people as accredited investors. And, uh, and you know, it's what we use to go ahead and find these people. So if you have any problem, any uh, questions whatsoever on oil and gas investors, feel free to call me. They're 50 cents a piece, $1,000 minimum. We have client lists that are five bucks a piece, real good client lists. I just recently got some uh, hard copy. I got 800 and 800. Hard copy is the one sheet at a time. You get them in PDF format. Uh, I got a lot of data, guys, a lot of data. And uh, if you're doing an oil and gas deal, uh, I have something very, very special for you. Call me, 561-239-0364. Have a beautiful day and God bless.